I'm Angus Forsyth and I'm the Managing Director of Haggerty International. A great thing about these cars is that it's all really based on nostalgia. And uh, this particular car, in fact, um, which is a 1963 Volvo 1800S, was the first car that I ever bought at the age of 18. I regret to say now that that makes this car 51 years old. It was actually made in the same year that I was born, 1963, so it's a very good vintage. And um, it came from somewhere near Bury St Edmunds, which is over in Suffolk. Um, and I went to go and see it and um, fell in love with it straight away. I bought it then and there. I think it cost me about £500. And it, it ran um, from the moment I got it and I drove it home. Um, and I bought it really because um, uh, my mother very sadly died when I was quite a young boy. And uh, she had one of these cars and it had an everlasting sort of memory with me. And uh, as soon as I was able to pass my driving test, I went straight out and I bought one. Um, and this is it. Um, and I've been driving it ever since. And it still drives today um, as it drove when I bought it back in 1982. When I found this car and I opened the door, the smell was absolutely identical to the smell that I remember as a child. And, and, and it's still the same today. It's really quite extraordinary. And you tend to find that happens quite a lot uh, with guys that are very, and girls for that matter, that are very passionate about cars. Quite often it's the smell that actually evokes that memory. I mean, interestingly, this car has been very, very reliable. And um, in, in all the years that I've driven it, which again is quite a long time, it's never actually broken down. That's not quite true. It broke down once. And um, I was living in London at the time, and I had a very hot date that evening with a, with a young lady I'd met. And I was rather looking forward to it, and I got in the car and started it, and almost immediately it conked out. And um, further investigation, um, I noticed that in the fuel bowl, there seemed to be a split in the liquid. And what transpired is that the fuel filler cap is actually on the top of the car, is that a seed had got stuck in the drain hole, and after heavy rain, all the water had poured off the car and into the fuel tank. But so determined was I to go and get to this date that I think I had the fuel tank out drained and refilled within about 45 minutes and I made it on time. The car probably is most famous for the fact that it appeared in a series called The Saint starring Roger Moore and famously uh, the production company went to Jaguar in 1961 and said would you give us an E-Type and they turned around and said no we won't. So they then went to Volvo, and of course Volvo were very keen to lend them the car. Um, so it's, it's most commonly referred to as the Saint's car. And every time I get in this car, whether it's the smell, the way that it sounds, the way that it drives, um, you are almost transported back in time. And I suppose while you don't go out to actually achieve this, um, it's probably the smile on people's faces as you drive past, and it brings back memories in them. And quite often you'll go past people in the street, ordinary people, and you'll see the mouth, Volvo, the saint. And again, it brings a passion and an obsession, um, something that we're all very fundamental about, particularly the people that work here and the people that work at Haggerty. I, I think it's very interesting that if you look at the community as a whole, people collect all sorts of things, whether it's China, whether it's dolls, whether it's teddy bears. But I think at the end of the day, there is nothing more emotive than a car.